I'm just coming off the back of the chat that they were having um, on the program in terms of chat GPT. How are you planning to incorporate that kind of technology here so in Dubai? When one of the first governments of Tajikistan said, this is a game changer, not just chat GPT as a platform, but this technology as a whole using LLMs to provide uh, conversational as a solutions for people across government services and other uh, means as well. So we created a task force across the government of the UAE that has uh, different representatives, high-level representatives from every single vertical that's going to be affected by this to first adopt it where it can be and should be adopted and also put regulations that are preemptive to govern the use of it that might be negative. It's not a perfect technology, uh, it's incredible, uh, but I think that there is a lot of promise for us to use it and optimize the customer experience journey in the UAE and at the same time safeguard people from using it in ways where it gives them high levels of confidence but it's not really giving them accurate information. Yeah. There's so much hype around it as well. We've seen AI stocks really soaring this year off the back of the uh, promise of ChatGPT and the promise of this technology. What do you think it's going to mean for the future of work and the future of our economies if you take a deeper think about the implications of this technology? Your views? You know, there are certain things that it can do very well. And I, I think it is incredible. So what I think is going to happen is that it's going to raise the bar. Think about, for example, uh, writing movie scripts. It used to take months on end. I think it's going to take weeks, maybe days now, because of ChatGPT. And the more you feed it, the better it's going to get. Right? Uh, in certain essences, it's going to really be an optimizer for human productivity. In other things, so far, it is still limited. I think in writing code, it can write basic code quite well. Um, it can even go a, a layer deeper if it is, let's say, prompted in the right way. But I'm not sure uh, how long it will take for it to actually replace all the coders. In general, uh, I think that this is an ambiguous time for all of us. And depending on which government you are, depending on the demographics of your workforce, you need to look at it differently. In the UAE, we're looking at it to optimize uh, our country, to optimize our people. But you know, as a size, we are a medium-sized country. I don't think we have the threats of countries that have a million, for example, you know, people who are working in publishing, and let's say millions of people working in industries that this might really affect. 